Come on. <laughs> trying to block her back. More trouble from Washington again today. White House is defending President Trump over a report that he says dictated a statement about Trump Jr.'s meeting with a Russian lawyer during the campaign season. So earlier this week, the Washington Post reported the president dictated a statement in which Trump Jr. said the meeting was about Russian adoptions. The younger Trump's emails indicated he had promised damaging information on Hillary Clinton. The younger Trump was then forced to correct his public statements. The White House has now confirmed the president weighed in on the matter and offered suggestions, but only as, quote, any father would. So what could happen next? Joining us to discuss, we welcome legal contributor Seth Padgett. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Welcome All right. back. So Thank now you. it seems clear that the president lied from the beginning. What does this mean? No! <laughs> well, I, I don't want to use the term lie. Uh, what I will say is sort of like you said. If a son goes to a father, and a father, you know, the father is going to try to help the son. Mm -hmm. The problem here, I think, that Donald Trump, President Trump, may run into, is he, he said initially he'd had nothing to do with this statement, and his lawyer went out on television. He also said Donald, the president, had nothing to do with this statement, mm -hmm. and now it's come out. Actually, he did. He had some influence over the statement. That's what the White House has said. Yet there's news reports that. President Trump actually dictated the statement. Mm -hmm. So that's a totally different thing. Mm -hmm. There's no problem with helping your son, but you need to be honest and open with what you did instead of trying to have, say one story at one time and then slowly let the truth leak out. Because that's always how politicians get in trouble. Right. Do you think that this means that he did know about the Russian involvement? I don't think you can prove it. You can say that from, from, from this email exchange, that he knew what was going on with Donald Trump Jr.'s meeting back at that time. Mm -hmm. What you can say is, Yes, the, the, his son went to the president, said, Dad, they, the New York Times is going to run this story, and now I'm going to come out. And then the president says, well, son, let's try to work with this, and let's come out with a statement for the press. Okay, so look, I'm sure he is not the only president that has ever lied no. at all. Or misled. Or, or misled gave the alternative public. facts, whatever well, we want to call it. Well, I think it. we can all remember President Clinton saying he did not have sexual relations. And that he also didn't it. inhale. That's right. So, we, we know we that know might that. not be yeah. true. But anyway, okay, as far as telling a tale or whatever, if he's not under oath, mm -hmm. Are we, does it, does it even matter? It's not necessarily, it's not impeachable, it's not perjury. Oh, it's not? But <laughs> here's where he could one, here is where it could be troublesome for him. Obviously there's an investigation going on into Russia and what happened in the campaign. And just like with Richard Nixon, Richard Nixon, he wasn't the one who went in to the Watergate building and did, committed the burglary. What he did is once he found out about it, he tried to cover it up. And mm -hmm. that's how he got in trouble. And if the president is trying to cover up an ongoing criminal investigation, that's obstruction of justice, that's an impeachable offense, and that's where he can get in trouble. And that's why I really think uh, General Kelly, the new chief of staff, I think he should sit the president down and say, President Trump, you need to leave Russia to your lawyers and you need to focus on running the nation. Do you think he can really do that though? I don't know. Mm -hmm. It would be better for all of us if he mm -hmm. did. Mm -hmm. if, if he sat down and he said, all right, well, I'm going to focus on tax reform, I'm going to focus on infrastructure. Running the country. Running the country. Mm -hmm. That's what the president needs to focus on and leave Russia to his lawyers. Mm -hmm. The only thing he can do by involving and meddling in it is get himself tied up into an impeachable offense. But I'm sure it's tough because that's his son. And of course, any parent, you want to be there for your son, have their back and all. But in this situation, it's a little bit tricky. It's, it seems like it's an ethical mm -hmm. sort of gray area. Is this something that could be that could come before the, the ethics committee? No, I, it, 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 you can protect your son, but you should tell your son to tell the truth, mm -hmm. not tell your son. Well, let's try to make put the best spin on the yeah. story. Yeah. Let's tell the truth. And I, I, from my understanding, reading the news reports, Hope Hicks, uh, who works for the president, he, she tried to say, let's be a little more forthcoming here. And President Trump wasn't ready to go there. I don't think he knew that the New York Times actually had the emails yeah. in its possessions. Mm -hmm in its possession, so that's why they went with that initial story about Russian adoptions, which no one believed no. from the mm -hmm. get-go. Mm -hmm. Well, second. you spoke about um, the attorneys. Maybe if he would just take advice from the attorneys and maybe let the attorneys run everything. Do you think that the attorneys could possibly run into some sort of problem themselves, maybe getting in trouble themselves for maybe knowing a little too much and not being forthcoming? No, I think that if Mr. Se I think it's Sekolo, I think mm -hmm. I'm pronouncing, mm -hmm. pronouncing that correctly, he, I, he would be in trouble ethically if when he went on the news and said the president had nothing to do with this statement, well, it's come out now that we knew the president did have something to do with it. If he knew that the president knew uh, mm -hmm. that the president was involved and he went out and lied about it, mm -hmm. that's problematic from an attorney's perspective. Could he be you always have an 
I don't know if it would be, could be disbarred, but he'd be disciplined. Okay. As attorneys, we, I know everyone likes to say lawyers are a lot, you know, lie, lie, lie. But really, in, in all honesty, attorneys have an ethical obligation to be honest. And we cannot go out and knowingly tell a lie. If you do that, that's a violation of your oath as an attorney, and you can be disciplined for that. How difficult is it to prove something like that, though? Well, it's to say Jay almost, knew. It's almost impossible because okay. there's attorney-client privilege. Right. So I mean, how are you going to get into what the attorney and his client actually spoke about? Mm -hmm. That's privilege discussion. But what would happen if I was the attorney and my client knowingly lied to me, I would say I'm no longer going to represent Can those him. records be subpoenaed, though, your attorney-client conversations? No, those are privileged. So those are always privileged. under? Unless it has to do with some type of criminal, ongoing rush investigation. But still, it's hard to get into attorney-client communications. Those are Those are... Uh, the attorney-client privilege is pretty sacred. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, with the, the track record that President Trump has had so far with kind of misleading the public, do you think there's a chance where the attorney might purposely leave himself out of the room in certain situations so that he can't, if ever asked, say that he knows something that could technically get the president in trouble? They can do that. I mean, attorneys can do that. They may not want to be in the room. But attorneys need to know, as an attorney, you want to know your client side of the story because your job yes is to represent your client but still you always have to be an advocate for the truth when you're an attorney you want to do the best you can for your your client but you you cannot go out if you knew your client murdered somebody and you had the and the client told you you can't then just say oh he didn't do anything wrong the that is unethical for an attorney to do that you do the best you can within what you know to be the truth hmm. so where do you think this is going well it's it's hard to say uh, you know I want I would like to see like I said, I would like to see the president get down to running the country. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and there's a lot he could do. He still has the opportunity. I was just telling this on, on the way over here. He has the opportunity still to be a very good president. If he got down to doing the business of the country and stop and, and leave Russia to the attorneys. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, I will, will ever prove that Donald Trump was in, involved with Russia in the campaign? I don't know. But if he continues to try to obstruct the investigation and get involved in the investigation, that's where he's going to get in trouble. But if he sits down now, right now, and says, I'm going to reform health care. I'm not going to try to repeal mm -hmm. Obamacare mm -hmm. because that obviously didn't work. I'm going to try to reform Obamacare. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put through tax reform, and I'm going to get work, get busy putting through an infrastructure program. Mm -hmm. He can still go down as a very good president, and putting General Kelly in charge, that's a very good first step. Now they just need a clean house of these other people. Wait, we've been cleaning house too many times Well, speaking of cleaning no. house, I mean, this, this, this kind of sounds like it's something out of, you know, primetime drama. Because mm -hmm. a reporter on MSNBC who had studied Russian President Vladimir Putin theorized that Putin wanted the U.S. to find, about, find out about the secret meetings to cause some chaos in the government. Do you think there's mm. any truth to that? And if there was, what would, what would happen after that? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I, that's all pure speculation. It really is. How would you know that's true or not? Yeah. But you're saying all of this is fixable, so he's not going to be held accountable for anything um, that they've done. This well, obviously, I don't know the ins and outs of what Robert Mueller's doing in his investigation, but I would think that unless the president continues to obstruct and try to interfere with this investigation, mm -hmm. from what I've seen so far, I don't he see anything for him to worry about. Yes, he can turn around and he can still do a great job. And he's made the first right step by putting General Kelly in charge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So speaking of in charge, I'm going to put you on a spot for a quick second, but you're a lawyer, you're used to that. What are your thoughts on the whole mooch situation? How to lose a guy in 10 days? Well, 15. Th once again, General <laughs> Kelly's in charge and General <laughs> Kelly said, we are not going to have a guy like that speaking for the White House and for our country. How do they not know that initially? Before, though, how, yes. did they never talked to this guy before? Well, they may, <laughs> you know, point? they may have, but it, Again, this I think is a General Kelly decision. He mm -hmm. said, if I'm in charge and you want me to run this, Got we're going to okay. do things the right way. Mm. Oof. That was his ultimatum then. Yes. Sure, and it, I think and so. it works. Well. All right, well, thank you, Seth Padgett, thank for coming you. on. And we'd like to thank, obviously, our legal contributor, Seth Padgett, for, of the law firm Padgett and & Padgett. And coming up after the break, a treat for all you romance novel lovers. We're chatting with New York Times and USA Today bestselling author Brenda Jackson when we come back.